Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now you spoke and we listened, especially when it comes to the tech tips. You know, you blew up our social media every time there was a tech tip out there. So why not incorporate it into the show? Voila, here it is, Master Tech Tech Tips. Hashtag MTTT, say what? That's right, Master Tech Tech Tips. And why not start with one of the biggest players on the car? That's the oxygen sensor. We'll give you some tips, but first of all, let's understand how it works. The oxygen sensor is located right here. Now there's a pre and a post oxygen sensor. What does it do? Well, it sniffs oxygen, exactly what it says it does. There's about 21% oxygen in the outside atmosphere, and if if your exhaust has 21%, that means you don't have a lot of gas. There's not a lot of pressure there, so guess what? It doesn't make a lot of voltage. Now, on the other hand, your oxygen sensor, well, it may have 21% on the outside, and in your exhaust, you may only have 2 or 3%. That's a rich condition. That means there's a lot of fuel in there. Well, how does it work? Well, your car works on CCC, Command Corrects Condition, and we can actually show it to you right here on Tech Garage in action. Check this out. I got the oxygen sensors running right there, and you can see they use a baseline of 450 millivolts, and down on the bottom end, there's about 100 millivolts, and up on the top, you have about 900. It's crossing that threshold, rich, lean. The upper half is rich, the lower half is lean. Command corrects condition, switching. The quicker it switches, the better your car runs. Now, the other one over there, that's the actual post oxygen sensor. That's the one behind the cat, and it's actually doing its job there. You can see it's anywhere from 400 up to about 600, but it's not fluctuating as much as the first one is. Well, that's because the catalytic converter is doing its job. It's working great, up, down, up, down, nice and smooth. The pollutants are coming in, the cat's taking care of it, the rear oxygen sensor's working just great. But you gotta remember that command corrects condition. Now here's your tech tip. Listen, you can kill those things, this RTV, room temperature vulcanizer, that actually will kill an oxygen sensor. So you have to make sure the box says sensor safe. Don't use anything that's not sensor safe. Also, you know, when you dump that coolant down in there, you're doing a big engine job, the heads are off, your exhaust manifold sitting there, bam, you dump it down in there, coolant will poison an oxygen sensor. So be very careful to keep the coolant out of your engine as well. And speaking of oxygen sensors, I think Josh has one out. You know, this wouldn't be a Master Tech tech segment without a Master Tech. You are ASE Master Certified. This is Josh Ellis. Josh, what did you find? This oxygen sensor is rich. How can I tell that? Well. It's nice and black, filled with hydrocarbons. Yeah, it is. You know what? This one's all sooted up. That's a good indication. Remember I talked about that rich lean, rich lean condition? This one would probably be slow. Now, you can also look at these conditions right here. You have a few conditions. You have lead poisoning up there on the top. That's going to kill it. Over to the right, you actually have a rich air fuel mixture. That's what's right here on our sensor. It's very, very rich. Bottom left, well, that's coolant. The coolant I said gets in there, that's actually gonna poison it. And then on the right, a silicone poisoning, that's actually gonna do the damage with the RTV. But you know what would be really cool, Josh, if we could actually see it in action. How does it work and can we look at rich lean conditions? Man, absolutely we can. RockAuto.com sent us an air fuel ratio gauge and we installed it right here on our favorite demo engine. And that's really cool because a perfect number is 14.7. That's a stoichiometric number. Right now we're at 18. Well, the engine's not running. That's more air than fuel. That's a lean condition. When I start the engine, well, we're hoping it's going to drop down. We're going to get some exhaust back there. We actually weld it into the exhaust up here. It's actually going to read a live condition, which is really cool. There's also some options on there to set some alarms. If it's going really lean, that's dangerous our race car drivers know what we're talking about but when I fire it up let's see what's going on here if it goes rich to lean and rich to lean now remember this is live so we can actually watch it in action Ooh, man, that never gets old. Sounds great. I love that engine. But you know, watching that in action, that's really how it works. You can actually watch your car if it's rich or lean. You're driving a turbocharged or a supercharged car. Super important that you're actually monitoring that rich fuel. Great tech tip today.